Now, unlike those gentlemen, we'll run to seed. Actually, to the official seed testing station at Cambridge, where seeds for testing come from all parts of the country. A process of continuous halving of the bulk sample sent to the station gives the right quantity for analysis. Then it's weighed, and the weight depends on the size of the seed. Two duplicate lots are taken from each sample. The pure clover seed is separated from the weeds and other impurities in both samples, and from these the percentage of good and bad is determined. The clover is examined for dudder. That's a parasitic plant which attaches itself by suckers to other plants and gets nourishment from them. A cynical friend says he thinks Dodda is very human in this respect. The analysis completed, the pure clover seed is encouraged to germinate, and for this purpose a mechanical enumerator and planter is used. The seeds are planted on filter paper, resting on damp flannel trays, a hundred at a time. The trays are placed in incubators. The seeds that have germinated are removed at intervals over a period of 10 days and the speed of germination and number of fruitful seeds per hundred is recorded. Grass seeds are germinated in tanks which supply constant moisture to their filter paper beds. All cereals are germinated on damp sand and the dipper makes the bed for the beans. Counting the fruitful or not so wild oats and germinating vegetables on the damp sand can't be beat, but this actually is. That goes for peas too. And so to the final report on both tests, for purity and germination. These details are of vital importance to farmers, to those of us who run a kitchen garden and in fact to all who eat. <laughs>